And a good Saturday evening to you. Lots of stuff happening over our state right now. We had some cool air moving in from the north earlier this morning. Remember how the temperatures struggled to get out of the 50s? Especially that's true if you're up in the Monument Hill area. Then we saw these clouds and they're coming in from the south. These skies are not very typical late June, early July clouds. This is actually what we would expect to see towards the end of July, early August when the monsoon gets underway. But it started a little bit sooner. The good thing about a soon monsoon is that we get some badly needed rainfall for parts of northern New Mexico and southern Colorado. The bad news with all this is that there's always a chance that one of these dark clouds up here is going to be producing some extremely heavy rain in and around the burn scar area. So we kind of have to watch things as these clouds continue to fill up. This is a live picture from our Colorado lottery camera up at Cheyenne Mountain. We're looking to the east southeast. And again, the cool air actually came down from the north. Look at this now. We got this band of moisture on our water vapor loop. This came up from the Sea of Cortez, which is right there in Old Mexico. And it moved up to the north and east. That was our pipeline of moisture, but we also had some cooler air come down. And this little weather disturbance over Phoenix is going to squeeze some of that moisture out of the air, especially over northern New Mexico and extreme southern Colorado. If you're down in Pueblo, I'm a little concerned because we may wind up getting some pretty heavy rain. So far, everything's pretty well behaved at this time. We're seeing areas of shower and thunderstorm activity. It's starting to develop near the foothills, which is what we would expect. There's a lot of upslope moisture moving in and the cooler temperatures. We're also watching this one thunderstorm up near Woodland Park, spreading some moisture up towards Glen Eagle Monument and up towards the Black Forest area. Remember, this is where we had some wildfires a few years ago for the central parts of town and down south. We're not seeing anything at this time, and I don't expect that because this is all going to be moving to the north. Northeast. Now that said, probably going to get wet if you step out over the next couple of hours because of some of these other showers and thunderstorms that are going to be developing from the south and west. Bottom line, if you're stepping out tonight, I take the umbrella with wear a light jacket to stay warm and dry. Extreme southeastern Colorado, pretty dry at this time, but I'm thinking that La Hutta, Kim, Trinidad, Springfield are going to wind up with a lot of rainfall during the overnight hours. We know that because our relative humidities are way up, way down to the south. Here's what's amazing. Alamosa is in an alpine desert. That's what we call it. And it's been so dry. We've had the red flag warnings and the extreme heat warnings and the drought and all that. Now we've got 81% humidity and they've got gray skies. That's kind of good for them. Uh, we look across our front range. We're looking at temperatures in the 30s and rather relative humidities in the 30% range. Our current temperatures a little cooler than average. They're in the low 70s. Feels pretty nice out there, but those skies kind of tell us that it's going to be raining here very soon. 72 degrees is our current temperature at the studios. We look at the future cast and again tonight between about 6 and 10 p.m. I expect light to moderate rainfall for El Paso and Teller counties. Also for way down south across uh, Huerfano counties, we're going to be getting a lot of rain, some heavy thunderstorms possible. Future rainfall amounts show as much as almost two inches of rainfall for Trinidad, two and a half inches of uh, rainfall by the time we get in through Tuesday. So this is an event that moves up from the southwest and affects extreme southern Colorado, but we're not ruling out the chance it's going to get kind of wet if you go out tonight and you don't have your umbrella with you. So be ready for that. Lows tonight are I should say high temperatures tomorrow are going to stay really chilly too with the gray skies, that cool air that came in. We're only looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. Our seven day forecast for Woodland Park is 53 degrees tomorrow, 69 degrees. You see the high chances of rain all throughout the week. For Canyon City, looking at 62 degrees for tomorrow and 60s, 70s, and 80s for the rest of the week. Although I think Wednesday and Thursday might get back up to 90, but with that monsoon flow, showers and thunderstorms all across the area. Same for Pueblo. Tomorrow's high temperature 62. And for us, as we said earlier, we're going to be getting a lot of rainfall during the day tomorrow with a 70% chance of rain and high temperatures in the mid 50s to low 60s. So there you go, Spencer. It's looking like a rainy, wet weekend. Yeah, wet sounds like an 